Good morning, I'm Teresa Shaw and thank you for joining me for devotions this morning. Today, we're going to talk about access to God. Uh, it is going to come from Romans 5.1 and the, the author is Gladys Hunt and the passage for the day is Romans 5, 1 through 5. I don't know whether you ever thought about, you know, becoming a Christian has enormous consequences. And we don't really talk about that, but your relationships are changed. We are given privileges. We look at life differently. Now, how do we receive all of this? Paul makes it clear through our Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 5.1. Our relate relationships are changed. We have peace with God, Romans 5.1. When we are at odds with God, inner peace eludes us. Becoming a Christian necessitates being made right with God. And what a difference it makes. Peace with God is enough to sing about. We are given privileges. We have access by faith into God's very presence. Romans 2. Once we knew only hostility. Now we are invited into the king's presence. Once we were outside, now we are welcome inside. It's called access. Once we were outside, the privilege of coming into God's presence. We look at life differently. We can be joyful even when facing the hard things that come into our lives, which is Romans 5, 3. We know life isn't purposeless. God is taking the stuff of our lives and making something good out of it. We are on our way somewhere, and God wants us ready for heaven. Our joy is real because we know we will one day share the glory of God. Our resource sources are exhaustible. God keeps pouring his love into our hearts. Romans 5.5 5. He not only makes us feel very loved, but he is so generous in his supply that we have an overflow of love for other people. He gives us the Holy Spirit who not only transforms our thinking, but makes God's love real to us. You know, our trouble begins when we forget these great realities and concentrate on our inadequacies, our fears, and all the other manifestations of our smallness. The proof of God's love is that Jesus Christ died for us. We are no longer shivering outside in the cold with no credentials to come before the King. Jesus has invited us into his very presence and has given us all we need and more besides. This passage in Romans is a renewed invitation to take advantage of your privileges of the King.
You know, we forget that as Christians, we are God's. He loves us. He gives us the ability to love others. And we need to allow him to use us in ways to continue to bless others and help them to see the ways of Jesus Christ. I'm Teresa Shaw. I thank you for joining me for devotions this morning, and I hope to see you next time.